words, the one who has the supply has an overabundant, ever flowing yeah, supply. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Glory. It's, it's as if it, it's, it's cram pushes. Yeah. Yeah. Force yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like for instance, you know, fishermen in a net. When a fisherman throw the net out, right. and there's, I was watching on the Discovery yeah. Channel. And I was waiting on my car to get fixed uh, the other day, waiting on some work to get done on the jeep. And they were talking about people fishing for yellowfin tuna. And yellowfin tuna—that's a, a whole lot of money in yellowfin tuna fishing if you do it uh, appropriately. And they were throwing out. It was in the, they were they were uh, uh, fishermen fishing in the Pacific Ocean, and they were bringing in yellowfin tuna, and it was tons and tons and tons of yellowfin tuna, and that was a major payday for them because it was tons of yellowfin tuna. If you know anything about yellowfin tuna, yellowfin tuna is not just like the chicken or the sea tuna. Okay. Yellowfin tuna is like special tuna. Like the steak or the tuna. Difference between ground beef and a filet mignon. Chicken or the seed tuna, that's just regular tuna. But the yellowfin tuna is like the filet mignon of the tuna family. Okay. 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 And then they got one even better than that called the bluefin tuna. And that is even more delicate, more of a delicacy than the yellowfin. So, 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 so. And they was all cramped and the fish was just flapping all over each other. And they were, I mean, overflowing with fish. Supply. Cram. God says, I will cram. Okay, the word is another word here, fill. Okay. Uh um. Full, complete, lacking nothing, no lack in supply. All this is in supply, no lack. Okay, furnish. You know, imagine getting the house and not having to buy no furniture. Not even having to buy spoons and forks and knives. You open a drawer, spoons, forks, and knives is in there. Not having to buy not one appliance, not one liquor groceries. You open the refrigerator door, it's full of groceries and eggs and, and milk. And imagine, imagine, just imagine in your mind. Go with me, go with me. Just go with me for a minute. You go in the house, they give you the keys. That you don't have to do anything. You don't, and all the furniture is in the house. The entertainment center is in the house. The direct TV is already hooked up. You ain't got to do nothing but turn it on. The internet is already on. The computers are on. Furnishing with a house, but it's furnishing with everything that comes with confident and comfortable living in a house. Supply. All that's in supply. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. okay. Um, complete. Fill. Fill up full. Okay. The, the same fullness that is described here, the same essence of fullness. Is the same fullness that it talks about in Luke 4, where it talks about Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Okay. Before he uh before he was tempted by the devil, before he went into the wilderness, he was led by the Spirit. See, let me let me explain something. This is just this is just a parenthetical. Being full of the Spirit, if you're so full, get ready for temptation. I, I okay. The Spirit will lead you. Okay. The Spirit led Jesus. Luke 4, verse 1. The Spirit led Jesus to the desert place. What that means is, what God will do is that sometimes, 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 God will be so confident in you that He'll take you into a desert place. Just to show the desert place that the desert place has no power over my children. Oh my God. Mm, yeah. All right, all right. Okay, all right. okay, okay. Next word, riches. 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 Riches also means filled. 
full supply. 